To become an accomplished paddler, you want to focus on the three basic goals of kayaking. First, you want to know where to go. Second, you want to know how to get there. And third, you'll probably want to be upright when you reach your destination. Well, we're here to help you achieve those goals. Just this morning, we have developed the latest technology in the perfect kayak performance. With you sitting straight up like this, what I want you to do, just kind of lift your paddle off your deck. I want you to just kind of rock your hips side to side, keeping your head and your body over the boat. Never point to a hazard. Whatever you do, don't go over there, that big hole, that's a big hole. I guess he wants us to go through that big wave. Wow, that's really exciting. Can I see it? Sure. Always plant your first stroke in the current on the downstream side of your boat. Just like on the lake, this anti-turn stroke will prevent your boat from spinning out. Imagine carrying a sheet of plywood on a windy day. When you're behind the house, you're protected from the wind. But step out broadside from behind the house, whoa, the wind will carry you into the next county. But turn the plywood into the wind, you'll hardly know it's blowing. You will also want some speed as you cross the eddy line to make the transition into the current smoother. Remember what happened when you stopped paddling on the lake? It happens even bigger on the river when you stop paddling while crossing the eddy line. Look into the microscope. In there? Yeah. Wow. This thing's not gonna squirt me in the eye, is it? You'll find it. I don't, I don't see anything. Wow, that's incredible. So everybody just kind of do the free floating thing right now. Just do the free floating and we're going to pretend we're in the safe swimmer's position. So what are the two things we want to see on the surface? Toes and nose. That's right, toes and nose. All good kayakers have learned to incorporate four basic principles into every aspect of their paddling. And since we're getting ready to go paddling, let's prep for success. Prep, that's P for posture, R for rotation, E for eyesight, and P for a positive mental attitude. Let's take a look at why prep is so important when you're learning to paddle. What are you waiting for? Let's get started. 